Schumann's music is not music for the mind, it's music for the heart. The most arguably iconic solo for the oboe, which is in the third movement of a second symphony, the Adagio Espressivo, there are these incredible waves of passion. And then the oboe emerges out of this. Every single thing is so gorgeous, you want to give it your absolute best and fill it with intensity and color. I feel that for Michael, the process of creating something is much more important than the process of recreating something. And the spirit that Michael brings to these performances is very liberating because we're not looking for the truth. We're looking for something really special to share with each other and with our audiences. And it is such a beautiful thing to be a part of it. I'm hoping that this cycle will present the symphonies in a way that will be much more spontaneous, uh, that will have greater uh, tenderness, that will have greater uh, delicacy that will have a sense of intimacy and sometimes of quite reckless fun that all these things the spectrum of emotions that are in the chamber music that in the songs will be very clearly heard in the way the orchestra can play these pieces <laughs>